and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And because I didn't get round to finishing sorting out my spares uh, before the end of 2023, um, I have two more videos that I need to do to get my spares sort of revamped. Uh, one of them is today's which is to sort out my rounds. Um, my rounds fit fairly nicely into two boxes. Uh, I am very very much hoping to keep it that way um, and my plan for today is to basically cream off any that are too full um, and to move them over into uh, this that used to be for saving my heaven and earth design spares and currently has my overflow to give away spares lot. Um, the next video will be to sort out my squares. I think I'm just going to have to move them into four boxes which is why I really really want to keep these into two um, because that will then keep them all this same design. Rounds in two, squares in four. Um, my spare one of these boxes is currently full of diamonds to give away. So I may have to pick up another box to just scoop them over into. Um, I've already sort of given away those that have emailed me. I've sent them diamonds. Um, so yeah, I will sort out that. I do have the space on the shelf for more boxes. I just would like to keep my spares down if I can. So let's start actually, let's move that one out of the way because I am going to have to look over. I have bags here, they've actually come out of that. So I have some bags, I have some stickers. They're my bookmarks, I have my box here ready. So I've already got some 161. But what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to flip through and see any that are that are looking a bit too full um, and shrink them down. So I only have one in here already. Let me take those out just so that I don't have to keep looking down as to what number they are. So the first one is 154. That can definitely be creamed. So I'm creaming it so that this is about halfway, which means once I flatten it out, it still looks fairly full, um, but will take up less space in there. So 154. And say, I'm just flicking through each one. If I can see the top of the bag, then I'm like, that's definitely fine. If I can't see the top of the bag, like 161, it's a matter of do I need to cream? I already have a bag for 161. I don't think it's going to do any harm throwing a load more in there, to be honest. And really creaming that down. It's not very often that I need to access my round spares. I can probably be a little bit more generous with the creaming off. Um, than on others as long as I have some should something happen then we're all good so if I just do a very generous creaming of my rounds and that will then help me to you know have no troubles when I'm putting any away and make sure that they stay in two boxes. I say they're, they're fairly good for two boxes now. I've not really had an issue with these when de-kitting the same way I have with any others. Uh, same way I have with my squares. My squares is always a little bit of a wrestle to get things back in. With my rounds I haven't really had that. You can see there's quite a lot of freedom in this. So by creaming this off and doing this properly, um, I should be a lot easier. It should be a lot easier. So 200, I sort of flew through them. 300, I do have some here, so I'll keep that out. My three tens, I actually didn't have a creaming off part for three tens. Oh, I think I did. 
I think I actually gave a load away. Um, I think it's, I think it was Melissa. Um, I gave her a load of rounds from my overflow uh, because she's planning on doing a Heaven and Earth Design cross stitch pattern in round diamonds. So oh, let's try putting these back in the right place. Um, so yeah, so I did give her a load of diamonds and 310 would have been in it. I thought it was weird then that I didn't have any more three tens stashed anywhere but I do okay 317 is looking a bit full too that would have been another one that I probably already have had extras of and sent them over to Melissa there's only 15 colors she's doing a mini beautiful light which is the heaven and earth design pattern that I still have to do She's, on, she's doing it in a round painting and I'm sure that's one of the colours. It's all sort of greys and a little bit of green but mainly greys and blacks and whites. Okay, 318 will also move over because that bag's pretty full. It's not going to like taking a load more being de-kitted from me anyway. I say I'm being very generous with the overflow of these, especially if they're ones that I've already got. They're likely to be ones that I potentially get again, especially if I've got sort of this many, then they are more than likely ones that are in quite a few paintings. So 318, squeeze you back in there. And they say, just flicking through, if I can see the top of the bag, then it probably doesn't need creaming off. There's quite a few 300s. There's a few that are fuller, but again, I'm still seeing the top of the bag. 336, let's use, use my bookmark for what it's intended for. I've just dropped it. Three three six is already one that I had a bag for, so I knew it would probably be quite full in the first instance because I tend to let them get rather full before I automatically move them over. So I've creamed a lot off that one to make sure that I can get a load more in before I need to, before I need to cream any off again. I should really make this sort of an annual thing. I think it's been a couple of years though since I last creamed off my diamonds. I suppose it depends on how much diamond painting I get done. And while I've de-kitted a few in the last year, I recently did my completed paintings for the year. Um, and it wasn't huge numbers. Like, it wasn't tiny numbers, but it wasn't huge numbers either. Okay, 413. I figured we might end up getting to 413, 414, things like that. Again, it's not one that I have any already. But this is one that would have been sent... To Melissa because I think she wiped out quite a lot of my extra rounds <laughs> when I sent a load over to her. So say moving over a big amount and I want to keep my stickers with the printed numbers in this box which is why I'm not sort of tipping an amount in that I want to keep and then put in the giveaway bag in the giveaway box. I'm doing it the other way around. 414 is well and truly full. So let's cream this one off. <clears throat> Can't wait to sort out my square ones as well. I say, I think I'm going to have to get another photo box. I'll probably cream that off a bit too much, but hey, I'm going with it. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to get another photo box because 
that or I'm going to have to find something to put all the extra diamonds in until um, anybody else needs some more and I can give them away. Okay, so that, oh, 415 as well. Let's cream that one off. Again, it's another grey. It's another popular colour. So we'll cream some of those off. A lot of the colours in the rounds are more ones that I recognise as being popular colours. Um, whereas the squares, every now and then, one surprised me. But I think it's just due to the volume of squares that I've done. Um, and I do keep multiple shades in one bag. Because I never know which shade is going to match any potentially missing diamonds. Okay. We're going to have a little run now where I'm just seeing the bag. It'd be kind of nice. Uh, I know with the squares, I did also take note of any bag that was empty and made sure that my list, um, my spares list was up to date with any that I didn't have and it was all correct. I'm not doing that with the rounds. Um, primarily because with rounds I don't have as many to de-kit and I'm trying to do all the boxes together whereas with my squares that took place over a few videos so it went over the course of a few weeks because I was de-kitting my heaven and earth design all at the same time as doing my spares um, because I was doing it all together, I went through a little bit slower and there was, a, there was a need to check each and every bag. With my rounds, there's not. Uh, there's not going to be as many that I need to cream off. And I'm trying to do both boxes in one video. So I would much rather it be a quicker process. 519, I was half and half whether to move that one over then, but it's not hugely full, but I do want this row to flow or have quite a bit more breathing room the same as this one does to ensure that I can keep it as two boxes. So I will cream off, that's probably a little, this is where I play the hole, is that too much, is it not? Cream off a bit, try not to make it too much. And they may sit in my overflow box anyway, so if I really need some, it's not like I haven't got it at the moment to go and find it. But quite a lot of these is literally just bags with a few diamonds in. Even 550 is not hitting past, you know, it's not like filling up the bag to the top. And that's another fairly popular colour. So there are a few that I'm seeing diamonds, uh, but I'm mainly going for, for diamonds that are, that are fully hitting the top. So that's the 500s done. 600s, I don't have any saved so far. Is it gonna be the red 666 maybe? That's too full? Let's see, there's not that many 600s though, because my 700 starts down here. So none of them are touching the top of the bag yet. Mm, 647 is a borderline, so let's do 647. Let's cream off some of those. You can often see the bags that are a bit fuller from the top when I look through at the camera angle that you guys are all seeing as well. You can see where the sort of thicker bags are. So there is one there, which I'll be getting in a minute. But you can see them from above. So 647, 648 is fine. So 666, say, is quite a popular colour because it's a bright red. 
depending on the paintings that you like. But I do have quite a few colourful paintings in my stash. So we shall cream off some of those and make sure that it is going to be able to take any future paintings that I throw at it. Okay, have we got any more? Not in the 600s. So that flows a lot better now. It's not quite got as many gaps as this, but it does have more, or it feels like more spread out cardboard inserts in there. But there's definitely room, if I wanted to shove everything up, there's definitely room for more diamonds, which means there's room for it to flow. Not so much with this lot. So let's see what we can get down from here. 701. 702 that's actually not that full it's just not been able to go down what do i have in the 700s that is in here 762 and 775 let's actually take all of these out i'm just going to prop them up sort of a little bit over on the side of my desk so that I can grab them when it comes to it. But this is this side is definitely feeling full. That again is not very full. There's something further down. Okay, 720. Let's cream off some of those. Again, it's a number that I recognise. It's not a huge amount, so I may go back and cream off a few more but a borderline if I find I'm not getting enough wiggle room that I like, but I'm kind of hoping that some of these future ones up here will free it up. And I forgot to use my bookmark and then I always struggle more, but I'm struggling to get these bags back in because of the amount of diamonds in them like that bag sticking up it's I, I can't even see any diamonds in it but it's definitely struggling because of something further up here oh 738 let's get rid of some of those 738 and again once I take it out it's actually not that bad of a bag I think it looked like it had more in than it did because this this set has been so squashed up. I've probably got my 939 and stuff as well in here, haven't I though? So I reckon we'll have more flow in a bit. 741. Let's cream some of those up. Seven forty one. So as long as I have some, how many am I going to need to to do to top up a painting that's a bit low? If you do all the projects with round diamonds, then you may want to keep hold of more. Um, I don't have many at the moment. I don't have any projects that I use them for at the moment, so I'm happy to cream off more so than maybe I need to. Right, 762 is a definite. This one is fully burst in. I already have a bag with a label on it, so I've obviously already decided that this bag is full enough. So I'm doing a really, really good cream off this. I do actually have quite a few different shades of 762. If you look at that bag, it is, it's, as far as I'm aware, it's supposed to be a light gray, um, but there's some in here that are cream and there's some that are green and all sorts, 775 as well. That is definitely a burst in bag. And it's one that I've had a bag of before. So let's fill that up and empty out, or nearly empty out, the one that I have in here. 
Okay, I don't have any other 700 bags saved, but let's just see what the rest of them are like, just in case there's any more. That's borderline, but again, it's got a gap. It's got a gap at the top of the bag. Ooh, 796. That can definitely be creamed off. 796. If I remember rightly, this, one, this side was a little bit fuller than the others were anyway because I was trying to keep them in numbers. I could potentially do some reshuffling in this box and shuffle things over a bit, which would definitely give it more room to flow. But we'll see what it's like. I say I was pretty sure that when I created this one, I wanted to keep you know the numbers starting across the top. So that may be why. 797, I'll cream some of those as well. Did 796 before. Oh, because it's only up to 800s in here. Oh, and my 800s do split into the next box. So I could definitely shuffle some over and make use of the extra room that I have over here. Got a few with static in that one. 797. Okay, so 700s are done. For 800s, I just have a couple. So let's see what the 800s are like. 814 is looking pretty big. 814. Let's move some of these out of here. Because with the squares, I did end up taking out these big dividers. And that's always still something that I could do, is take out the big dividers. And that would give me a load more room in here. Some people have actually trimmed down the bottom of these and used these for the dividers. So that's also something I could potentially do. Helps if I actually put what number it is. And that's that sticker sheet gone. So 814. Let's see what it's like when I get to the end of this box. Ooh, 819. That one is full. So let me grab my next set of circle stickers. 819. And I just handwrite the stickers in my to give away box because I never know if I'm going to need multiple bags for one colour. So for example, 823, I actually already have two bags for that one. So 819, flatten down what I'm keeping. 820, yeah, that can probably get creamed off as well. That's another, another blue one. Get the bag, oh, there we go. Get the bag open enough that the diamonds go straight to the bottom. 820. And then flatten. 822, 823. So I already have one full bag here. And then this bag is just as full. So I think I want to get this bag looking more like this one. And we'll see how much that frees up the box and allows it to breathe a little bit more. So that already has a sticker. Eight, two, three. And then do we have any more? No, not in this box. Okay, so that's actually freed up that to move. Like, not a ginormous amount, 
but enough. This one is a lot freer and this one is, is the nice free. This one is a little bit tighter, um, but I do have room to potentially move a couple of the 400s over and sort of free up each row. But what I think I'll do is I'll let that happen as and when I de-kit and know that at the moment there is room in there for more diamonds, which is the ultimate goal. So now we carry on to the 800. So this has, again, not a huge amount of wiggle room. There's definitely bags that are sticking up a little bit more. So we'll see how much we can cream this down, depending on how much, how many diamonds we have in here. So these 800s, the rest of these 800s, I'm not particularly seeing a load of diamonds. Maybe I'll get some more when I get to 898. Maybe I can cream off 898 a bit more. Oh yes, I can definitely cream off 898. So let me get the bookmark for this box. And let's cream off quite a few of those. Because I know I'm going to end up with more of these. Uh, this brown number is also a number that I recognise. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 898, 899 is fine. So of the 900s, what I already have is 938, 939 and 995. Which again might all be numbers that you recognise. So... Again, I'm just looking, do we have a gap at the top of a bag or is it the diamonds full right to the top of the bag? That's what I'm looking for at the moment to determine whether it potentially needs to be debugged a little bit. I think I was quite generous with the 800s. Um, Mm, that's a borderline, but it actually feels a little bit bulkier than some of the others do. So I will get rid of some 934. Um, I was probably a little bit more stingy with what could stay in my spares box with those 700s and 800s, mainly due to the space. Not that I wasn't happy with the amount that were in there. If I find I'm shorter on space, I kick out a few more diamonds than I would do if I'm not short on space. Whereas this box is not so bad um, in relation to space wise, like I wouldn't think, oh, de-kitting this one's going to be a bit of a nightmare um, because of the room I've got. I feel like I could de-kit a large round painting and have plenty of room. So I'm only now, this is this is definitely more of a maintenance than a I have to do it, otherwise I can't de-kit anymore type of reducing. Okay, 939, I'm already on two bags, so let's cream off this bag really well. As we all know, 939, if you've not got a 310 on your painting, you've more than likely got a 939. So I'm leaving not a lot in this one at all, because I know any rounds I de-kit through the year, I am more than likely to fill those up quite a bit more. The next one I already have a bag for is 995. So while I am checking for any others on the way, it wouldn't surprise me if I don't end up with any more before I get to 995. 995 and potentially 996. They're quite nice, vivid blues. And some of these bags are fuller than others. Some of them I am seeing diamonds, but I'm not seeing them jam-packed right to the top like I do with 995. So I've never creamed off my spares in this way that I have done in this last series. Um, 
I've never done it with my spares before and I've been diamond painting now for what five six years so I've never had to or I've never decided to go through and cream off like I am doing now I've primarily done it because my squares were getting a little bit out of control a little bit harder to de-kit than it ever had been before um, because of lack of space when I was doing it and because I've done my squares I decided to do my rounds not that my rounds needed it as such it's my squares that set the trend um, but it's good to sort of do them all so that one now has quite a bit more room than it did before a lot more flowy okay for three thousands I do have one bag all ready for this but let's see if it is a really full bag um so yeah because i've never actually done this before the creaming them off i know that if i have a bag already in my giveaway it's because the bag in here has got too full um, which is why i know that these that i say have part of a bag of i more than likely have far too many in my spares and i can well and truly cream some of them off and I've probably gone very much extreme with that one. <laughs> oh well. Right so where did my little card go for the 3000s then because it's not there. I had it. Where have I put it? Have I just used it as a bookmark in this one? I have. I've used it as the bookmark instead of using the pink one. Oh my goodness me. Right, let's try that. Let's try doing it that way. So my rounds is definitely filling up. Okay, four one, four twos, not too bad. All the rest so far, I'm just seeing bag, bag, bag. That's all I'm seeing is bag. Okay, three thirties. I only have three, three, seven, one, which is a very dark brown. Again, another colour that if you gave me the number, I could tell you what shade it was because it is that popular. And it is, if you've seen from above, it is one of the bags like this one here. I can already see from above, this is one that probably needs creaming. There might be some down here. Apart from that, there's not a huge amount in here. So let's get... Let's get some of these 330s out. This might be the easier box of the two, which is kind of nice because I am running out of space in this box as well. So it would be nice to be able to get them all in together. Okay, three sixes. I actually don't have any that I already have extra bags for because there is only about eight of them and they're all fine. Three sevens, I have some three seven five six. Is that one that I need to debug in here? Can you see it already? I think it's that one. I think I can see the bags already that really need them. Uh, oh no, that one's actually three seven five two. Though I do think that that is, especially in how how I was with the 700s that definitely needs creaming it's not as bad as some of them have been oh but it can definitely be creamed off especially because I could see it from above as needing it there is a couple in there as well that are borderline I'm now more of playing a little bit of the game of how much is going to need moving over and how much is going to fit in this box. See, I have all my extra inserts and dividers from my squares in here as well, which will be able to go um, when I sort out when I sort out my squares box. Okay, three seven five six can be cleaned off. Flyaway one. So 
So let's cream off some of those. I've creamed that one off quite a lot because it's a number that I definitely recognise. It was in the Heaven and Earth design, so I think I've creamed some of these off already. It's a popular number. Okay, 360, 61 borderline, so 65. 66 again there's a couple in there that are pretty full but i think i've got quite a bit of growing room that i don't need to worry about those too much have we got any more here this one feels a bit fuller so in fact maybe i will just pull some of those because these are still three 700 so they're still going together and i'll just move them over Give a little bit of breathing room to this row, and if it needs any more, I'll scoop some more over later. 3799. That's also, I need more baggies. Let me try and remember which drawer I put them in. Oh, I expected to go hunting through more than one drawer then. Because I still haven't, while I've put everything away in drawers in my craft room, I still haven't fully, fully figured out where everything is because I moved it all just before Christmas. And then while I've done a few videos in this room, I haven't done loads of them. I haven't done loads of kitty hooks and de kittings and all that sort of stuff. So remembering what's in here and what's not is not fixed in my brain yet. Right, let's move over the hundreds and if I need to move any more over in a bit I'll take some of these out because they'll be going back in my squares when I do them. Okay, three eight hundreds. I have four different bags here so we'll see if we end up adding to any of those. Let's put my little three 800s bookmark in there. And let's go. There's loads of three 800s. So I'm kind of hoping that there's not absolutely loads that I need to go down on. Go, you know, shrink down. But there is this one, 3811. The bag is rather full, so we can definitely move over half of those, probably a bit more than half, and we'll get that added in. I don't have individual cards for the diamonds that go into the extras, I use the um, hundreds stickers like the three eight hundreds stickers I use those on little bits of card in there and that's a good way that you can start your spares if you've just started diamond painting you can just use the the general high number group so 100s 200s 300s and sort of build your spares up that way if the thought of doing a spares box with each individual card fills you with absolute dread um, and you're not one of the people like me where it fills you with excitement <laughs> and you think, oh, planning project. Um, if that's not the way it makes you feel, um, then make the system work for you. If you want to be able to keep hold of your spares, um, but you know you're not the person to enjoy the process of building up your spares box, then... Yeah, simplify it to make it work for you. And that's why this system has been adopted by so many diamond painters around the world um, since I came up with it a few years ago. It's because it can work for multiple people in multiple different ways. Right, that three eight, that's a borderline. So is that one though. I'm like, should I, re should I take them out? I've got 3846 because I've already got a bag for it. I might see how it goes. 
I've already got a bag for 3846 and that was definitely too full. Uh, these other ones aren't as low as this, um, but they are still flat. Just make sure that bag's up as much. And I've got quite a bit of room in here now. I'm feeling like there's a lot more room. So I'm thinking I can get finished quicker if I allow myself a little bit of a little bit of grace with that one. Right, next bag that I've come across is 3861. It's a bag that I already have. So I'm definitely going to cream off that one. Because I already have decided that the bag was too full. So if I cream it off, it will last me a lot longer. Uh, can I move over the 300s as well? Not without taking a couple of these out. But say these will be going into my squares box. In fact, all of these will be going into my squares box. So I might just take them out and leave them on the side because that's next week's project anyway. Sounds like somebody's having a rearrange upstairs as well. If you can hear, if you can hear boxes sliding on the floor above me, that would be the children upstairs. It's like a little mini January sort out. Right, let's move those up. Okay, 3865. That bag's fairly full. I'm just going to do another label for this one. Because I, I 3865, anybody that's diamond painted for a while knows that that appears also in a lot of paintings. And I don't want to be creaming off my diamonds all the time. Um, I do think I need to be more proactive in maybe creaming them off when I start noticing that they could do with it. You know, maybe going through my boxes at that point and just getting the ones I can see, not actually flipping through each number and just going, okay, let's put let's pull the boxes aside and let's let's get rid of some. Uh, and if I did that more straight away when it needed doing, it probably wouldn't be as big a job. Um, even though it was always going to be a big job in the fact that um, I had oh, that I had my heaven and earth design to de kit. Right, what I've actually done here is I've actually tipped all of these diamonds into here, bar a few that are stuck to the bag. The reason being, these do have a few that are like a creamy colour mixed in, that I'd actually say are more of a 3865, um, which is more of an off-white. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch these diamonds from this little Ever Moment bag that's a little bit smaller, that are more white. So I do still have a few of those creamy whites in there that were stuck there with static, um, but it's primarily the white white which I think is more likely to match any that are potentially in this box. And now I've realised that those I moved over before can probably come back. Because this side is a lot freer. This is also quite free. And again, these 900s could be split over if needed. So I think my rounds are going to be perfectly fine in two boxes, which is... A very very nice sigh of relief. It's just my squares that I need to move into three boxes. Um, those are actually all from saving um, my numbers for my heaven and earth design. I don't actually need those anymore but I am just going to turn them upside down and put them at the back. Uh, in case I need some card. I may as well reuse a different side of it or the bottom of it. Um, I do like to keep in here a few Ever Moment bags um, because they have the little write-on section. Uh, in fact, this bag, I actually stuck a sticker on it 
fact, I'll just put the whole thing in. But I can still write across the front. So if somebody only needs a few diamonds, these bags are really handy to just fish a few out and send them to them. And then I like to keep stickers in both square and round for labelling up any bags I add to it. So I'm going to keep those two in there, but this, because I'm on a fresh new full bag and I've filled up the box, I'm just going to bob these back with my spares, spare bags, because I'm now in the craft room, so it's not like I haven't got access to them, or I have to go somewhere to get them, which is what I used to have to do. So there we go. My rounds and my squares pretty much are all sorted. All I have left to do is spread my squares into four boxes, which has been determined it needs to be done. So join me next week while I do that. Um, and then the week after, Thursdays will be a whip and waffle. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again soon.